Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin and we are on our first location shoot and I'm here with Steve Letiri of Imagimod. Hi everybody. And he's got some cool stuff to show us which involves these little 3D printed mechs. So what do we got here? What's, uh, what's this all about? Well, we are um, in process of developing a new app called MechMaker. We just launched a Kickstarter for it to raise some funds to uh, finish it off. But uh, basically it's a creation tool for um, tabletop gamers or anybody that wants to make a cool robot toy. Um, it's a mobile device, iPad, iPhone, create a mech, customize it, color it, texture it, pose it, and then send it off to 3D print. So I'm looking at this yellow one here as an example. This came yep. off of a, a MakerBot, which I, people can buy these MakerBots, right? They're not Absolutely. all that expensive, right? Yeah, I mean, that MakerBot's the leading um, consumer brand. Uh, price points, you know, probably around $2,500 and less. There's a $1,000 model. Um, this is, you know, sort of the standard most people might have in their homes. There are other manufacturers that have uh, printers like this that are, are lower cost, under 1000 And you could print from the app to one of those lower cost printers too? Or is, is yeah, I mean, uh, the way our, our app is set up is to, it's sort of printer agnostic. I mean, you can print to a, uh, a printer you might have on your local home network. Um, you might be able to print at a local fulfillment option, which, you know, Staples and Walmart and the like are getting into this space. And then uh, we have a number of fulfillment partners that um, you can choose from, which, you know, give you a lot of options in terms of materials and pricing options. You know, uh, there are options now to print in gold and titanium. Oh, really? <laughs> so it's, you know, a <laughs> lot of gold plated uh, action figure there. Absolutely. Kind of so we're looking at one here, and this is, this is off a really high end printer, right? Um, so it's got multi colors. Now you can paint yep. your own if you wanted sure. to do that. So you could print out on a color of your choice and then paint paint over it. Yeah, like this one here is you know was a single color plastic print like from a MakerBot and then was printed you know sort of Boba, Boba Fett style. Pretty cool. Um, and all the parts I guess you have loaded or you can add on through the app, right? So you don't sure. have to do any of your own design or anything right. like that. Yeah, I mean what we found is that you know people aren't necessarily designers or artists um, that. There is a desire, though, to, to customize and create things. So, you know, what we're trying to do at Imagimod is create tools for people to uh, to make cool, interesting uh, stuff that they can print and play with. And uh, and so, MechMaker is the first uh, consumer you know product that we're we're releasing. So you don't need to know how to do a 3D model. You don't Correct. have to learn any of that. You can basically pick out the parts that you've pre-designed and right. then through the app do that. Is yeah, that absolutely. So let's take know, a look at the app. Yeah, so with you know the app, you know we're creating the lonerator right. here today. Yeah, the lonerator. Um, I like that. You know, you can I put my photo in his head or something? <laughs> not yet, <laughs> not but yet. that is certainly something that we we've, we've talked about adding. You know, you can randomize you know through the app and just you know stuff gets put together, or you can go in and start getting more specific. You know, it's, so I can choose the head type. Yeah, at the prototype stage right now, we don't have a ton of uh, parts in yet, but we're you know we're building more, and once we get to consumer release, there'll be quite a bit. And, and these then, are things you'll be able to buy, like buy different parts, yeah, virtual parts. I yeah, guess, there'll be an in-app purchase option for different component parts, and you know we're talking to guest artists and um, IP owners in the entertainment space, so we might you know have some cool extra stuff that I, I think people get really excited about. But you know, you choose your head, you uh, choose different arms different torsos. You could spend a lot of time doing yeah, this. I How mean, many different combinations uh, do you think there are right now? If you're just in the beta stage. There's definitely at. thousands. Because um, then once you get your parts set, you then can get into start you know, changing color. And within the different parts, there's like different sections that you can you know, sort of tweak. So if you zoom in and you can get really, you know, you can get really detailed. And there's also the ability to you know, add pattern and we're looking at a real-time rendered model here yeah. too, right? So this is not like some pre-animated thing. Exactly. We're, right? we're, we're, we're building our app uh, using the Unity game okay. engine, mm -hmm. um, which allows it to really be you know, cross-platform and, and pretty powerful. So you know, once you get your mech sort of to where you want it in terms of the, the components and the colors and the patterns, then you can go back and start playing around with uh, you know, posing, get the legs, the arms in different places, you know, the head, you know, change the change it in pretty much any way you want. And then when you, th you think you got it where you want it, you know, you hit the 3D print button and uh, off, off it, it will go. Right now it's a cloud uh, server okay. system. Mm -hmm. And so we have a actually patent pending technology. That goes technology. pretty quick too. It's not very, so I guess you just, it's just a matter of color in which part you're choosing. And, and yeah. Uh, yeah, and we're still working on sort of that, the, the sort of that next step, which is, you know, connecting to the printer. Right. Um, 
we, we you know we have that sort of worked out. But you know, basically, you'll then have that sort of three choices that I mentioned, where you might you know print it yourself, fulfillment partner somewhere nearby, or you know use one of our services for a variety of options. That is really cool. So, so you could get something as detailed as this printed out, or you could, like we said before, go with uh, kind of the MakerBot version yeah. that you print yourself. And, and I would imagine, is, is this like a standard file format that works with any 3D printer? Or well, one of the things that our platform does is sort of you know, make the conversions required to get the, the model to where it needs to be for the various different types of printers. But in general, there, there's a certain file format called STL, which basically Kind of creates a, a sliced up version okay. of the model, and, right. and the way the printers, you know, most of them work is sort of you know layer, layer by mm -hmm. layer. They're printing these things out, and you know, depending on how you know powerful the printer is and how big your print is, you know, could take a couple hours. But in, you know, in the end, you get a really cool, a unique uh, object. Yeah, this thing's really looking pretty cool. So now there's a Kickstarter that's running right now. So yep. some people watching this later will have seen it already ended. But True. Uh, where can people find that Kickstarter now if they want um, to do that? Well, Kickstarter.com. You could either search for MechMaker or ImagineMod. Um, we're in the tabletop gaming uh, section. That's um, sort of our focus for this uh, initially. Um, you know, a lot of people, uh, you know, play you know games like uh, BattleTech or Warhammer or different things, and you know, having the ability to kind of make your own and maybe create your own rules around it. Um, there's, you know, some some people in the tabletop gaming space, you know, don't mind that it's one one color. Some of them like to get you know really into it and customize and right. you know dirty it up and make it all the way they want. Um, so we're you know providing a variety of options for them. It's very cool. So what are, the, what are the different levels? So like, let's say I wanted to get something like this out at the end of my Kickstarter contributions. This is probably one of the higher level contributions you would make, right? Yeah, um, there's, you know, we, I mean, we have starting at like, you know, $25 and up, there's different things. But, you know, once you, you kind of get into the $100, $150 range, you, you'll start to be able to get a print of a mech. Um, we have some other rewards, you know, physical rewards, uh, 3D printed objects that are part of the lower tier. But at the highest level, you know, there's a five thousand dollar tier where okay. someone can get a titanium uh, mech That'd if they cool like, which would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, I think uh, you know there will be somebody out there that probably will uh, right. bite on that. You know, it's it's cool stuff. But I think for people that are looking at like that new mini printer or some other kind of three D printer that they may want to get for their their home, this yep. is actually kind of a really fast way to output something unique. That sure. Um, is there going to be a charge like, if you wanted to print your own version, or just beyond whatever the the Kickstarter contribution would be? Or? No, no. I mean, the the app will be free. There's mm -hmm. a number of components that'll be part of that. Um, you know, if you support the Kickstarter, you know, some of the rewards are a lot of different extra components that you know later on would be you know for purchase. So you'll get those up front. Um, yeah, I mean that's one of the fun things about this stuff is having you know things to play with, and you know we are finding that you know people that get into 3D printing, you know. They end up wanting to be able to print stuff. Right. So you know, I think we're you know creating some really interesting and cool tools. Not everybody's people. a 3D modeler either, which I know I'm not. I've, sure, I, I have a 3D printer coming hopefully at some point, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. So this is this is a I, this is something I'm, I'm definitely going to try out. It's really, yeah, it's good. Really it's neat. Uh, it's you know the, like I said, this is the first of our our apps. You know, we're definitely looking at uh, creating you know other others that make cool other interesting objects. You know, could be uh, you know ships or. Um, you know, move into the fantasy space mm -hmm. for gaming. So, you know, orcs and dwarves right. and elves and human warriors and monsters and who knows what. It's uh, kind of sky's the limit with this stuff. It's really cool stuff. Well, Steve, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Good seeing you. And, uh, Same here. We'll uh, keep, keep us posted. Yeah, we'll see how this, uh, how this progresses. Appreciate this it. Lon Seidman, thanks for watching.